the things or nowadays the new tactic that they're using is calling you gay and honestly it's really starting to piss me the fuck off let's get into it is your boy Ron back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe at the end of this video i hope you subscribe so we're gonna go ahead and get back into this video and then later on i want to show you uh, a post that i came across on facebook that really triggered me to make this video so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it be misogynist uh, that was a great breakdown um, one take from this because i remember reacting to a clip I want to say maybe about a week or so ago, right? And there was a woman, and a man stitched it. A woman was like, do men give other men great advice? And then he said, yeah, it's just not the kind of advice that you want us to give. So when uh, Saint the Sinner, you know, uh, or the lady um, mentioned simps, telling guys not to be simps, that is the perfect example of the kind of advice that men get other men that women don't really want men to give. And the reason why is because simp culture is in favor and advantage women. That's pretty much what it is. So when you give men the kind of advice that uh, benefits women, you know, you know what I mean? You're taking that away then they kind of feel a way about it that's the reason why when we tell guys not to be simps you'll see women out here saying oh you know they'll like kind of defend it like i've even seen twitch streamers you know what i mean like like you can't even call you can't even use the word simp on twitch anymore like that's how bad it is so what i want to show you guys the post that i came across on facebook that really triggered me to talk about this because I'm really getting sick and tired of men who do what I do or um, other podcasters that are in this space. Y'all are just 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 holding women accountable in general is like all of a sudden y'all y'all become homophobes when women are the ones that support the uh, rainbow community more than anybody. But I digress. Let me show you this post, guys. Give me one second. All right, you guys, so you see this here, it says, I want to join, it says here, I want to join this topic because I've been wanting to say this for a long time, but a lot of you boys talk down on women so much on here, and it's weird, do y'all like women? That right there triggered the fuck out of me. I'm so sick and tired of hearing this shit. Because I, 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 I find it very hypocritical how often I see women talking shit about men online well before the red pill space became a thing um, passport bros before all of that man you can go all the way back to um, television you know what I mean when you came home from school and Ricky Lake was on like don't even get me started Oprah like come on man like it, it's I can go on and on about that. Y'all have literally been shitting on men for decades. Not once did you ever hear a man say, damn, do y'all like men? So based on your logic and what I've been seeing for decades now, I should be asking women, do they like men based on your logic alone? Because you're not going to sit over here and tell me y'all don't come on the internet and talk down on men. Hell, you basically doing it in this post. Cause, Cause, let me continue. Cause, look what she goes on to say. When half of y'all are the most unmotivated, uneducated, disrespectful druggies, clubbers, sit around and do nothing, runners, middlemen, store boys, you know the little homies, don't have your own place. If they do, they live with their girlfriend, BM, mom, etc. No car, roommating roommating it up as grown men sharing clothes, shoes, and watches, etc. And to be honest, I know more females with their own motion translation those are the only men that i find attractive because the men that are on a job either i don't find them attractive enough or i can't manipulate them and control them enough because they know they work 
that's basically what I read based upon on that right there. See, fellas, you got to understand women is I'm like women only complain about the men, the kind of men that they're attracted to or they want. The problem is the reason why they think a lot of men are like that is because those are the men that they're attracted to. Because I guarantee you, because this is an attractive woman. Man. And oh, and by the way, she's from where I'm from. So, she's an attractive woman. But I guarantee you, the men that she's complaining about, that little rant right there, I guarantee you those are the kind of men that she's attracted to. And see, this is why, this is one of the things when men talk about that women don't like is that y'all need to value a man as a person, not just what he provides. Now, don't get me wrong. You should, as a grown man, you should at least have your own place or what have you. I mean, I'll keep it a buck. I mean, I'm back home. I'm back home with the fam, but I spend most of my time overseas now. So clearly I can afford to be on my own if I'm just trying traveling right now i've been gone since january 30th then prior to that i was only in the united states maybe for like a little over a month because i was in columbia for a month so yeah i agree with that i mean just basic you know just basic basic necessities i'm like but i had my own everything i still got my truck at home like i'm good but I'm really getting sick and tired of women trying to call men gay just because they hold other women accountable. Like, it's it's really, really hypocritical. Because I'm like, this, this, cause this is coming from the same group that were telling men to quit using that gay slur. You know, when we used to use it so loosely. I'm like, that wasn't too long ago, but now here y'all are calling men gay and y'all are supposed to be the ones that are supposed to be so protective of the rainbow community so I'm like just from that aspect like it, it is it is hypocritical I'm like ain't no need for it and I don't hear y'all calling um people like Derek Jackson or Steve Harvey Chris Perry Ace Metaphor and all these other guys that pander to y'all I don't hear y'all asking them do they do they hate men? It's funny how that works. Like I said, it goes back to what I was saying. Because what they talk about is advantage women, which is why they listen to them. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button to help with the algorithm and help us reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplug Traveler link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.